Okay, welcome back to Thunderscape. I'm gonna continue exploring this. What remains of the sewer levels in here? Flooded area key number two. Yeah, we'll be having that. A maggot. Well, looks like it's combat time. Ooze worm. of a German pronunciation, I don't know. When it's spelled with a U. Sounds like it could be a German word. Keys fit here. Oh, I guess there must be more keys this way. Uh, maintenance office. Hello, you beautiful thing. Another key in there. Old gate key. Yep, we'll take that. Old maintenance note one, two, and auxiliary pass note. Oh, mm hmm, medicine chest. Yeah, we'll take that. Well, <clears throat> looks like it's time to have another read. Send Lanahan over to the flood control room to see up about that malfunction. Haven't heard back from him, and now that the area's flooded, things to do. Send someone to look for Lanahan. He's got the key to the gates. If needed, flip all the switches in the flood room and then flush the chamber. Who knows what's growing in that water? Maintenance note number two. Something strange is going on here. All the creatures are gigantic. Haven't heard anything from the Citadel lately. And I could swear there's something strange going on in the upper passage. Things to do. Get some answers from the Citadel. Lock all the gates and hope None of these creatures get in. Stop writing and start doing. Auxiliary pass. We're trapped in here. The monsters are all over the place. We can't get to the citadel and we're hopelessly outnumbered. Diam suggested we use the alternate passage to get to the citadel. I had completely forgotten about that. There are maggots around the circular door where the first switch is. I hope we can make it. I hope I remember which switches open the passage and which lock it out. Yeah, so the floor over 
hint about what to do next and one of the keys that we need. Yes, so... Flooded area key one. Dirk. Yeah, just a normal Dirk. One of the weakest types of knife weapons, so not really something you need at this stage in the game. Alright, so it looks like this area is flooded and there's... Yep, we can't open these little doors in here because it's too flooded. Flood control room. Yep, I can save here. Hmm. Let's see. Um. I don't know if this will make a difference, but I reduce the number of cycles a little bit. First time. Yeah, I, of course I knew that was going to happen. But this time I was able to do it surprisingly fast. So yeah, you basically yeah you have to in a fairly short amount of time you have to flip all eight switches in there and then press the kind of final switch in the corner. To flush the room. Of course, why would they design a system where you actually have to flip eight separate switches before activating the flood, you not know, the flushing functionality? I suppose from a let's say role-playing point of view it doesn't really make much sense but you know from a game design point of view it's of course a challenge to puzzle basic chest so that's only going to be maybe like a random weapon random piece of armor oh and this is what we want water gate key Holy smokes, it's actually very bright in this room. And by that I mean that this the actual room where I'm recording this game. The sun is shining really bright. Oh let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm actually having trouble just kind of locating myself on the map. Wow. Hmm. 
you know, I swear I have played this game before. Not only have I played this before, I have also finished this game. Oh, here it is. Many times. But even to this day, it still confuses me. Especially, you know, if, if it's too right inside. Oh, it's a locked door. Number combat. Looks like Dresdale got poisoned there, so. But of course, the 8 spell is amazing. Really, is one of. I would say pretty much the most. Or at least one of the most useful spells in the game. Eight and then the standard healing spell. Definitely top. Hello. Zombies. Oh right, I should probably save my game now that I'm actually out of that. A lot of enemy poisons in here. They just poison you. Oh, okay. Guess what? Spells mode. The game just activated the uh, force me to combat. Kill a zombie, you know, all the days work in the fun desk game. Is this... Oh, okay. I think we just... Okay. We were about to go to... Okay. Okay, I guess we already flipped that one. Slightly confused again. Yeah, or flip that. Mm -hmm. Do 
over the door. Oh. Wait. Here. Here. Perhaps. This could actually be where we have to go. Just making sure there aren't any more switch to, uh, switches that I've missed. Lots of gold. Yeah, we'll have lots of gold. Even though we already have 222,650 gold pieces. And we are already past the third and final shop in the game. Which of course doesn't prevent us from, let's say, backtracking and visiting the shop again, but yeah, it kind of just loses all value if you value and usefulness. Oh, <laughs> let's try to bribe. It might be that it's not going to work. Oh, <laughs> okay. We can actually bribe a zombie. I didn't know that. Sure, take six gold and go. <laughs> okay. I must admit, I did not expect to be able to bribe a an undead. Now that was a genuine surprise. That was that was something I never did before. Yeah, we just hundred gold. Yes, go. Yes, take the money and go. Hello. Hi. Do you want money? Of course, it's good that we might kill this guy before we get the chance to. 30 gold, yes, just go away. Hello, do you want money? 400 gold, <laughs> you know what, yes, take the money and go. Like, we literally have no other place to spend all this money, so. I'm actually doing something that I haven't actually done before in Thunderscape. And this is coming from someone who's been playing this game since the 1990s. Probably a year or two after its initial release. That's a... That... Honestly was a surprise for me. Mm. Well... I don't think, yeah, you can't bribe like... Uh, animals. <laughs> I mean, of course that only makes sense that you can pay off animals. You can't pay an animal to not to attack you, but... I was actually surprised you can do that to a zombie. I actually have to try that maybe with skeletons and stuff. Does it work with those? I mean, I suppose one of the... 
NPCs in the game is... Oh, well actually, Tophet, the one that, the one NPC that we already met, and then one that we could have gotten as a follower, or as a team member. But I didn't want to take him because I did not want to drop anyone from, from this current lineup of heroes. But yeah, anywho, I mean, Tophet is basically a skeleton himself, you know, an undead type of character. And I suppose, you know, if he's intelligent, if he can do, you know, rational decisions and whatnot, so... Why wouldn't, you know, enemy skeletons be the same? Huh. I guess it's a lesson about prejudice in here. Uh, yes. Archon, you lost. Now, flipping this little button over here... Let me explain after the fight. Okay, basically... Somewhere roughly around maybe here... There is a hidden teleportation trap. And, well... Trap... Well, trap and a trap, it, it's not really like the kind of trap that does like damage to you, but it's it's a you know hidden teleporter that will, without giving you any warning, it will just, and without, without let's say making it too obvious, it actually shifts you back into, you know, like an earlier portion of the um, little corridor. So then if you don't notice it, you just kind of keep... Working around here, 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 maybe then boop, going back, and then here, here, and then boop, going back. So it's gonna, you're gonna keep on doing this, and you will not be able to proceed to sort of this area over here. Now, flipping this switch will actually deactivate that teleporter. And as I was talking, that level of brightness in my room just went up. Hello, rat. Hmm. Of course, another problem now. He is that because it's now bright, and I'm having problems seeing what is actually happening in the game. Is that a switch? No. Okay. I'm basically trying to be very careful. Because there is another switch that I have to find, but if it's too bright, I may walk. Okay, I guess this doesn't. Oh, maybe this one opens this. this nothing just this well, I already flipped that so I'm not gonna flip it again huh oh. little rats 
That's in Sarah, you know who you are. That's in Sarah, you know who you are. Magical spear. <laughs> now, finding this item, let's say at the very beginning of the game, would be super useful. Really powerful item. But, of course, by this time, you really ought to have much more powerful weapons than that at your disposal. Hmm. Occasionally this sunlight will actually, let's say, dim a little bit. And that makes it easier to see, but uh, if, uh, it would be somewhere roughly around this portion in here where the game would just, you know, it would teleport you back. But because I flipped the green button, we are able to kind of proceed here. Yeah, we'll offer money again, sure. That is, if he survives. <laughs> I guess after the beating that Philo gave him, he's willing to leave for 12 gold. <laughs> I mean, you think that after being repeatedly hit with a no big magical stick, <laughs> you you know you've offered to go away for free, but <laughs> okay, yeah. And give the guy his twelve gold chest of gold. Guess the zombie never realized that just around the corner. There would have been a chest full of gold he could have taken. You know, if he was really into... Well... Yeah, this here is where we're supposed to go. But... I mean, even if... Just looking at the map, we can clearly see that there's a little piece of corridor, and then it goes up here. So there should be a passageway here. But currently it's closed. Now the reason I went to here is because I was trying to find a button or a switch that opens that. I only found that one button. And so, I'm not sure if that one was the correct one. And open that little, let's say, section. Oh, God. This... 
brightness in this room is a little too much. But you know what? After flipping that one switch, that maybe make like a double checking this area over here. Oh, you know what? I think that's it. That is it. Oh, maybe the little gray button over there, or somewhere, like somewhere roughly here. It opened this one, but seemingly there was nothing in here. So maybe that opened like the switch in there. I don't know. Again, it's been very bright, so maybe I just missed that switch the first time. Hmm, I'd be surprised if that happened. Well, hello. Do you want money? <laughs> no. This one got greedy. 200 gold. Maybe because we didn't give him the, let's say, pre-offer beating, but... Alright. We still have 223,115. Like, right now, we have more gold. We have been bribing these enemies left and right, and we have more gold than we started with. Just a few moments ago. What the last time we checked. Oh yes. This is definitely it. We'll make a save here. Da -de -da -de -da. Mm -hmm. press the cast spells option well looks like it could continue further on I do also recall I think this section also has some kind of teleportation things. Oh yeah you can. Oh let's see. Prime so just faint. <laughs> Now oh, that was quick. the normal light one herbal remedy okay so again these are the potions that give you a permanent boost of plus six to your hit points so four six three four eighty five hundred four ninety okay so cold car gets that he was the one who had the least so yeah. Hmm. 
I do like this game, but it's very confusing. Like, it has its flaws. It has its weak points. It is an old game, and in many ways, kind of outdated. Sometimes even very frustrating, but. Hmm. I still have a lot of love for this game, a lot of nostalgia. If I didn't, I wouldn't still be playing this game. Almost 506 and 20 points to cast spells. Now, I think you can notice how, even with the standard build, the standard team that you get, if you don't create your own team, you know. If you know what you're doing, you'll be just fine. You know, it's a solid... It's a solid setup of characters. And let's see, whatever points you have at the beginning of the skills you have... Doesn't make that much of... Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> crap. Oh, crap and a hat. I suppose, in a way, you could say that that was my own fault. Okay. Yeah. Just try the good old hug the left wall strategy. Which is of course very familiar to anyone. Uh, let's say to any classic gamers. 
go down there or up here well hug the left wall so we'll go here just a normal plate basic oh I, I think we actually saw this location a little bit earlier medicine chest healing cure poison a thousand gold more money we could in the drain you find two small flasks and a bag of oh those were actually really powerful potions I mean those were like those really special potions let's see elixir of might this is actually a potion that permanently boosts your strength uh, Maybe Conkar. Yeah, Conkar. Let's see. Well, yet. Elixir Fortitude. Yeah, this increases your health. Maybe Conkar is actually also kind of lacking in like hit points so chirp well I guess there's a silver lining for every cloud because and I chain oh. Well, sure, we'll, we'll keep this. Potion chest, which <laughs> probably gonna give us some scrolls. Oh, okay. That was actually potions. I'm kind of surprised that it did. Oh, you know what? Make a save game. We might run into that death trap again, so... Black pot helm... That basic chest. Mm, okay, yeah, we okay. came.
I can't believe I'm actually getting just like repeatedly lost in these dungeons. I mean, I guess I just never really learn how to play these games. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Am I sure there's no way to go here or here? Is this really just dead end? Yet, I think when you go up, it's that room that has the little gate and... What is it? Oh, okay. I guess this is... And an Well, I guess one good thing about this whole thing taking its time, probably make another save here, actually. You never know what's gonna happen. I might accidentally run into that exact, exact same portion of the dungeon where you game just throws you away Again, mostly I'm just going with the whole, you know, hug the left wall strategy in here. gonna open the gate that much I remember I died. I'm just gonna keep on keep with the strategy of save all the time. Might be the best way to go. That's it. Poison, acid, and poison, a little more acid, and a little bit more poison.
her more stuff. Yeah, as you can see, Turok on the previous episode actually leveled and I got her skill above 200. Maelstrom. Oh. I don't think I actually managed to select that. Okay. Guess the, the game just didn't wasn't really responsive enough that Well nevertheless I'm gonna keep on saving because just in case I run into that trap again not entirely sure this looks promising banish spell book yeah Gogar. Yes, he has learned to banish a spell. Nobody expects to banish Inquisition. Guess what, guys? Do you wish to leave the sewers? Oh, Yes, yes, we have been here for I don't know how long, but multiple episodes in just these sewer levels. Plus, of course, all the episodes we were in the dwarf, um, the, the, the catacombs, and then before that in the, the mines that mine section and oh god yes okay i think this deserves first of all a big save second of all i would say that this is going to be enough for now. And next time when we continue, we will con continue exploring Thunderscape. Oh, by the way, right now we are already outside at the very outskirts of the Radiant Citadel. Which is our sort of current goal was to get to this city and then we have to fight our way all the way to the top and reactivate the shield on this side of the pass in order for us to complete our quest and become the heroes of legend who saved this world saved Aiden and the Northlands from the scourge that is the nocturnal army <laughs> okay so I will see you Next time, and then we'll continue with Thunderscape. But for now, bye-bye.